Yeah, response video to Pink Moon. And um, yeah, on the subject of ephalism, an explanation because some people have complained that there's not a simple description of what it is to be um, antinatalist plus, or whatever you want to call it, um, ephalist. Um, so yeah, it's just life spelled backwards. Um, just a way of saying I believe that there's something fundamentally broken in the natural mechanism that it is unintelligent design and that has a consequence that unintelligent design means um, insufficient efficiency in the system and it means that the product of the system the living things are likewise not likely to be efficiently functioning that means they're um, taking um, not on purpose, but just in function, consuming more than they produce, that they have nothing they can produce. So I've used terms like zero-sum game to describe life, is you're basically just stealing energy perpetually um, to replicate a molecule. And then overall, it's just four billion years of mole molecular modification. You're just modifying molecules, um, declaring a winner based on this crude standard of victory and um, yeah through that process it acquires complexity but the basic function is the same the function is survival um, by any mechanism any means possible um, whatever can happen can happen uh, no umpires no rules no Marcus of Queensberry sophistication um, just a blood sport uh, and uh, for nothing no nothing in the end just a raised hand I win you die <laughs> just to play it all over again two more molecules enter uh, molecule leaves and gets you know clonked over the head on his way out um, there's no escaping the game and it's a crude and stupid game and so that's why life is spelled backwards because it is it is contrary to anything progressive or, um, yeah, there's no forward vision here. There's no place for the game to go. The only thing, the only function our intelligence has is cleaning up the mess our biology makes. Um, our needs, desires, our addictions. It's consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, addiction. Um, it's just a consuming for the sake of replicating a molecule and we do it through cannibalizing our own sentient kind um, um, through a process of natural addictions um, uh, built-in mechanisms that make us hungry for a carrot and the carrot is synthetic it's made out of um, contrived um, feelings of value senses of value that aren't that have no real substance, that they're just there because they make us eat and procreate and do what's necessary to sustain the chemical composition, the variety of chemistry, the shape of a molecule. Um, and that's it. And that's not good enough. That's, that's the simple um, description. Is that it's an insufficient game, um, like tic-tac-toe, once you're intelligent, it doesn't have any, um, it's no playability. It's a game for dumb things, and that's what life is. It's a game for dumb things. Smart things aren't going to find it graceful enough, or fair enough, or just enough, or reasonable, or sensible. They're going to find it just expensive, and um, uh, futile, and foolish, in that it can only satisfy perceptual value. Um, there's no Martians and there's no Venusans and there's no <laughs> Venisons or, or Plutonians or Moonicans or any of these other planets and we don't miss any of those civilizations just as our civilization would not be missed. It's only our attachment that makes it seem important and it's just for that sake of a seemed perception that we impose all this wasted suffering all these organisms that are um, existing in the slaughterhouse um, that someday will pick the short straw 
and uh, they'll meet their individual doom and the doom will just keep on the straws will just keep being pulled and our names will change and our faces will change but the stories will be the same It'll be the same tragedy the same stupid waste um, the same jeopardy the same screams uh, for nothing to accomplish nothing but to satisfy a notion in heads that says we need to be here nothing else just a notion in their head no no nothing real we're not a tire on the universe's car we're not uh, we're not anything that can be described as a functional device in terms of use or purpose or function um, as stated, our intelligence only exists because it was a scheming tool, because it made us better at um, stealing star energy from other organisms. And that's the only reason why it exists. And it still remains its only function is to be used as a scheming tool to derive gratification or satisfaction of our selfish individual desires and most of the human race is completely still owned by that nonsense they're still they still um, are more obedient to the notions of nepotism you know family superiority nationalism racism than they are devoted to any high-minded ideal of civilization or decency or justice or fairness um, Life is a sad and tragic story in nature, and humanity has done nothing to write a better chapter in the life book. Um, we've disgraced our intelligence, um, insulted it, brutalized it, um, perverted it to um, sick and depraved purposes. And it's all over our culture, all over our economic systems, all over our entertainment. Uh, we are American Idol at the core. We're just crass and stupid and superficial and um, <laughs> grotesque. Um, and it's for all, uh, and again, it's at this, this price of the suffering. I mean, I could go on, you could go on for the suffering forever. You could explain and describe the horrible death that we'll meet that will be the fate of most living sentient creatures. There will be a, a last gasp, and there won't be any fun. <laughs> there will be a long, uh, hard, nasty, ugly road uh, to that last breath. And um, as long as people aren't in that sinking boat at the moment, they're just going to party and pretend they're all yachting, even though they're on the Titanic, and the truth is written everywhere if they'll open their eyes and look at it that they're on a boat that's going to sink and uh, they should do something uh, you know, to protect the women and children first <laughs> they should get them off the boat um, quit playing games with uh, the welfare of um, sentient creatures to accomplish nothing but sail on a stupid boat um, around in a stupid circle of stupid life. All that kind of crap. So anyway, that's my definition of ethelism. It's really just the consequences of unintelligent design. The fact that there is no God means there is no wisdom in creation. It's just a byproduct of the complexification, the condensation of matter. We are we are, we are uh, an infestation on a planet and little else. Just very fancy. We're a very fancy mold, but that's still all we are. We just still are playing the same game a mold is playing. And it's a dumb game. Expensive. Anyway, probably longer than I should have made this video. But anyway, that's what it is there. It's done. A little sullen. You know, I'm just a little sick of the whole... <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's just it's so obvious. And you really... People are so far from...
taking any responsibility for dealing with what reality is. Um, the, the, just the, the crudeness of every mechanism inside of you, the mechanisms right now, the little chemical machines maintaining your cells and maintaining the chromosomes in those cells, um, tremendous complexity and all for a stupid purpose to make a machine that goes into an arena and fights with other machines to simply say I win and then die so its sons and daughters can play the same game all over again it's insidious um, anyway so until next time I hit the button.